this beautiful Thursday evening. How are you doing, guys? I am doing splendidly well. You can see I have changed my hair finally. There's someone who was actually asking me, I know you have bad hair. How come you are always wearing wigs? So how do you feel today? Anya, I'm going to reveal my hair soon so you guys can see how long it is. It's longer than Joyce's. Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. Uh, hashtag today is Thankful Thursday. And I'm thankful to just be here with you guys every evening, Monday through Friday, man. We love you, Manze. Welcome to the show. My name is Nana Witi. Yes, guys, we are so thankful to have you wherever you are watching us from, be it Azam Channel 338, Zuku Channel 53. And you know what? You can also catch us on our Switch TV app, which you can download on the Play Store and also on the iOS. So we got you. We love having you here. And today our hashtag is Thankful Thursday. So let us know what it is that you are thankful for. It could be a small thing, it could be a big thing. Whatever it is, attitude of gratitude always. Thank you so much for joining us this Thursday. I am Joyce Miner. <coughs> Hello, Hi. everybody. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to the show, guys. We have an amazing show live <laughs> for you. It's Thursday. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And I am looking gone, guys. I, I know. You are. I know, right? <laughs> My self-love talks are working. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, and, and Joyce, e what's up, Ulikuwa? Uh, it's okay. Outside. It's okay. okay. Uli so okay. bundles. Can you see what is going on? Wi-Fi. You know what? what but it's wifi? fine. Because, you know, I'm also looking quite funny. Yeah. Else, okay. If I do this on myself. Mm, all right yeah. guys so let us know where you're watching us from two two triple nine is our free sms line we always love to hear from you guys karibuni sana i am wikali mary but then wikali is on an agenda this week eh? she just wants someone to just feel left out <laughs> every other day it's fine <laughs> <laughs> honestly Why it was you? so it's coincidental okay. honestly for today guys <laughs> oh magic no you see the imagine? thing is actually okay. when i was having my makeup done uh idel asked mm. um what, Mikali, what, what, yeah. what are you wearing today i said i'm wearing navy blue yeah. Alafu uko na nanami va red uko va red alafu mimi nimeva black uko na ni sawa it's fine no, i see no. how things work here but so hey asiye <laughs> kuepo <laughs> How does that even apply? It How doesn't it? apply. <laughs> I had to say something almost twice. Almost is the key word here. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. You're it's Thursday. Lovely. I love the new hairdo. This is really nice. Thank you, man. As in, everyone is just, just getting grades. I just took mine out, but now I have four more. I want to braid. You want them again? Okay. But then, have you seen oh, wow. how she's laid her edges, my friend? Uh, like you know, that saying, hair. No, how long does it take? Just 10 minutes, man. You yeah. lie. Every time Girl, I see Joyce a in a scarf, <laughs> me, I know what yeah. she's doing. Like, what's underneath that scarf? What? <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. feeling left out. I had to stand out somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so she knew she was going to be left out. This doesn't even make sense. But we have the trending <laughs> popping stories for you. It's time for Pop Spots. Najua, you are all up in everybody's business, especially if you open up your family to us, then we'll be in there asking questions and following up on your life, the good, the bad, the ugly, and all of that. So we know um, Maureen Waititu and Frank Jimit, uh, Frankie Jimit Waliwachana. We all know that. And we all speculated what could have happened. They kept quiet for a bit of time. And I don't know what sparked the conversations. I think netizens did the thing that they do, where they start asking questions and accusing people and playing blame games. And we saw Frankie Jimmy go on to social media and talk about how he takes care of the children. He pays the bills and stuff like that. And he went, and he was, he was very emotional to say the least. And, um, People jumped onto that bandwagon and were like, we are on team Frankie. So Maureen, da 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 Just because Frankie now has moved on and they're expecting a baby with socialite Corazon Kwamboka. And they've been all up about it. They're talking about it. It's all over social media, so it's nothing hidden anymore. So somebody went on to Edgar Obari's page to just uh, to Anisha Maureen Waititu. And Maureen Waititu couldn't just sit back and take it. So she went ahead to say, why did you paint the father of your kid? Oh, the lady went on to say, why did you paint the father of your kid in a bad way, knowing very well he caters for literally everything? School fees, house, upkeep, even pays part of your house help salary. Is this what you call trying? Don't be malicious and bitter and accept the situation and start thanking him for actually being in your kid's life 
and actually doing his part perfectly. Stop, then God will actually open doors for you to meet a man. But if you continue shaming him in blogs, you're blocking your blessings of ever receiving a mate. Look how fast he got a mate. It's God's doing. Don't be preaching water and drinking wine. So after that was said, she went, Coo -coo -coo. excuse me, who are you to think you know me? Question mark. Do you even know what I do for my kids? Question mark. Do you know anything about being a father or being a, what, a, what being a father is? Should I speak about all the unspeakable things is done to me for you to understand how much I've covered that man? Did he or Kwamboka send you? You seem to be an advocate of theirs. Don't even think about coming at me without knowing the other side of the story flips here p.s if by screwing around with a socialite who he was flirting with when we were still together and knocking her up is what you call getting a mate i pity your kind of thinking you must be you must have a very perfect life to be minding other people's business women like you are why the society has a problem i wish you everything that man has put me through and you'll remember why a person like me is maintaining her silence so please don't try me please. don't try me it continues it's it's a whole rant my people Whoa. it is it is you know sometimes i just feel like we put god's name in some things and he's just like ah, ah, leave me out of this <laughs> no no i didn't just stop like honestly like she said it's none of your business you don't know the half of what she went through so stop trying and tr stop trying to um Make it seem like she's the bad person or like, like she's bitter. Bro, just mind your own business. Yeah. It's not that difficult. Just mind your own business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some people might bash her for going ahead and, and issuing a statement and speaking her truth according mm. to her. But at the end of the day, you can, you can only be pushed to the edge or up the wall enough times. Mm. It comes a time where it just breaks. Like... You can't take it anymore. Sometimes silence is not as golden as it is. Yeah. So let That's her do true. whatever yeah. she wants to and do. Honestly, like by the yeah. atuajui water. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so invested in their lives, man. Say you don't even know the half of what you she's know? gone through. So I think we're all... trying to be like, oh, no, 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 you know, exactly. unsolicited opinions, opinions. and advice. Keep them to yourself. Unless you're in the exact same position that she's in, which you are not. Just keep quiet. Why are we ignoring the fact that there's only there's a juicy story? There's a new development yeah. to this oh, story oh, yeah. that the fact that they were seeing each other before before like no but that story still. came out a very long time ago when that, she said that no she, frankie he was, denied he was, it no but she said it that he was yeah. um cheating he was cheating like towards like the end of their relationship yeah. and, you know she tried to like stick around but she already said and there were stories out there that he was sending some unsolicited unsolicited pictures to some people yeah so those stories were already well, out there. Well. Yeah. Corazon. She was seated here. She was yeah. on the spot. Yeah. And she told us her hip size. Wow. Hi. So. Okay. <laughs>